hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to red dead redemption 2 this is episode 15 if you missed episode 14 i'll put it up in the corner for you so you can check it out if you did see it you know that we did some stuff with mary we had that whole little date it's just this this forbidden romance that neither of us can have but we both want and you know the deal we did all this stuff we got jack back and so it looks like now i did take us back to um i already forgot that i forgot the name of this place but the little safe house area here there is a mission for Jose, but there is also something for, I'm guessing, Levi that is over here. And that is what I really want to do first. One, because it's a little side thing, so I don't want to miss it if we do too many main missions. But also because the last time we did some stuff for Levi, there was the issue with the, uh, 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 the, 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 the mom. You know the deal. The whole thing with the mom and like the kid. How do I get up to you, Mr. Levi? Surely I can go around the side here. There we go. Now, I, I, maybe that's not what this is about, but that was just my, my assumption. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but... Um... So far, we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison. L.G. Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Okay, I don't know if that's like triggering the mission or if it's... I'm hoping that it was just picking it up because that was what I was wanting to do. Like, I'm guessing if I look at... Wait, what was that in the top left? Individuals that are only getting money are marked on the day. Yeah, yeah. So there's probably... If I pull up the map now, I'm guessing there's just some... Uh, yeah, yeah, like right there. Perfect. Okay. I don't think we'll do that just yet. Uh, we're here and Hosea is right here. So I'm going to mark this and let's do this real quick. I'm guessing this is going to have to do with the garden party that, uh, Dutch invited us to. I think that's what it said in the name of it. Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're going to make it to this party, yeah. we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I wonder if it's supposed to be nighttime when I'm doing this. I feel like it's super dark. <laughs> <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> huh. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I feel like there are ulterior motives to why he, uh, he invited us. We look good, though. We clean up well. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend. I'm going to the side. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. Okay. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Yep, we're sticking with Dutch. What a gorgeous establishment. Establishment? It's a house. Such wonderful artwork. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboy. 
boys, you have arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> And that... Yeah, I don't like this guy. That is Hector Fellows, mm -hmm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking None taken. <laughs> Do not like this guy. All these vulgar people. They hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> oh, weird dude. I do not like him at all. I'll you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Uh-oh. What are we locking in there? I didn't see what was in there. We're gonna pull off some kind of job at this place. You just, you already know we're gonna be doing Gentlemen, something. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. So you mean Saint Denis? Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. What's the plan here? Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. Okay, we're finding the mayor. How was the show? I heard you went. <laughs> These are all strangers. Come on, where's the mayor? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ferdinand? I got honor. Oh, the mayor. This intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the red skin. Yep. I did no such I'm in. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <laughs> Get your hands off me. 
Nice guy, Arthur. Where are we taking him? Come on, sleep it off. We're just kicking him out. Sit down and calm down. <laughs> Count to a thousand. Okay. Rejoin the Hopefully that gives us some good standing with these guys now. Thank you, sir. Yep. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know her. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Fireworks. Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Fireworks are cool. Uh oh Mr. Cornwall was quite <gasps> insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Let me say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Uh-oh. Cornwall does not like us. All who remain undetected. Okay. So. How do you do, sir? I'm guess I'm guessing it's not a big deal until we start getting to a more isolated spot. Because right now, like if he turns around, like we're just walking, you know what I mean? But yeah, I feel like now is where it's gonna be tricky. Yeah, we can maybe 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 we chill here for a second. Ah, yes, totally watching the fireworks. So cool, so cool. I'm gonna make our move. Stay back to make sure you are not spotted. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Moving in silence. <gasps> hey. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay, keep going. Surely there are other people in this house now. Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Oh, where's he going? Going. Okay. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here. Oh. Look at me. Look at me. Could you oh, buddy. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. Oh. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Where's he going after this? Is he coming back? No, he's going. No, he's going that way. I was ready. He's gonna come back. Wait, he's going into that locked room. He's totally going into that locked room. Sure, I'm not supposed to go in there. Right? Cause I I could take him down right now if I wanted. Surely I don't want to though. She's the ledger from the desk. I feel like I'm supposed to knock him out. No, I'm not. Wait, wait. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did that guy go? I swear he just disappeared. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Am I the only am I, I okay maybe he went into okay he probably went into like a different room Oh I thought that was that guy Oh okay Yeah I thought it was just that one room and so I was so confused I was thinking that I just 
Uh, he just like on he just despawned. Okay, let's find Dutch though. Hello. Yes. Oh, oh, that's Dutch. I'm so done. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? Plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told yep. us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Oh, yeah. You know about that. Oh, I feel like we're gonna get stopped or something as we try to leave. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Some something. Surely something's gonna happen. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Hey. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we still got the O'Driscolls to keep in mind. We still got like the the the, the Pinkerton agency or whatever coming after us. <laughs> we got a lot of people we need to look out for. Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm going to go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Ow. Boy, that's a lot to do. That is a lot to do. The gilded cage. Okay. Boy, it seems like there is a lot to do. I will find something on the map and I will get us there. Obviously, there's a lot of main stuff to do in the town, but I did actually mark the white mission for Strauss to collect on the dead. I just I feel like that's going to I feel like that storyline is going to play a big role in this. And so I marked it. Maybe this specific mission won't have anything to do with it. But I don't know. I definitely want to make sure that we're, we're doing everything the game has to offer. So we're going to try and find this guy somewhere around here. See where he is. Easy, easy. Where are we at here? See, I think he's probably gonna be like fishing or something. See in here? I don't see him in here. What about in the main little house here? What are we? Are we kicking it down? No, it's just locked. We can go in the back door of this place. But this also locked. It almost looked like there was a way down here. Is this something I can? Uh, Crawl in. I can't. Okay, come on. How do where am I where can I get in here? Am I supposed to find this guy? Or wait. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't even realize that was him. Oh, I was just wandering around. Oh, this is huge. Ooh, who's getting his drink on? Uh oh. Oh, I don't feel like hey, this is gonna go well. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. No I way. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you got to be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh... I like doing it sober. 
If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the mannerly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies. You weren't catching fish. Now, come on. Let's get us that death. Oh, gosh. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. There's savings. literally a knife. He's literally gonna grab a knife. Best place for. Him. Hmm. Now where is He's literally gonna grab the knife. The drinks ready. It's right there, mister. I would I would like I would like to it's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Well, uh, that, this is so messy, dude. He wants us to turn around and grab this drink, I think. Come take it. It's right here. But he is literally just going to grab the knife. <sighs> I'll cut your damn head. Clean off. Punch him. There it is. A uh, one punch and he's just out, huh? Oh, it was I just I knew it. I could you we could see the knife, man. I could have seen that coming a mile away. Where's the kid at? That kid's gonna give us problems. Anything in the anything in the ooh, double barreled shotgun. Last time we were we had a little fireplace. There was something that it let us like flip a switch or something after we got the gun. Maybe not. Still though, that kid's gonna be in here somewhere. Oh, he's under the bed. Man, poor guy. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. Poor guy. Ah, oh, man. Take that money, okay? That's oh, okay. That's just that's just enough. That should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. I haven't found any of these cards in so long. Yep, I need to find some more of these. I'm pretty sure that uh, successfully finished the mission, though. Good stuff. All right, we have a mission in the main camp for Sadie, I think. Sadie, I have no idea what this is about, How you though. Doing, Mrs. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. What? Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. What? That's now, dumb. The trolley bus station. I went down there. I want to do something with Sadie. Took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. Sadie. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody Holy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Jack! Oh wow, we're farming with this though. Oh my goodness. I, I thought it was just like a joke at first. Like it was just like, uh, um. I, yeah, I thought it was like a prank. Or like, it was, you know, like it was like a. A prop. Holy though, that is. Archer, we need to gun down there. 
I am popping off right now. Get to oh, get to the front door. I'm supposed to stop shooting. Okay, okay, fair enough. I need to go downstairs. I need to go downstairs. Okay, okay. Well, we can do this. I would do. We were farming up top. Why are we going down? We're only gonna have a worse angle down here. Get inside, fast. Come on, quick. Don't let anyone back through that door. Come on now. Where do you go? Okay, I need. I definitely need to find some cover. What's happening out here? Everyone okay? Here we go. Well, I completely forgot who Kieran is. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put in some work here real quick first. This should get us a good couple of kills. Yeah. These are O'Driscoll's, right? Like, we're not... We're not shooting like our own guys, right? Push the cabinet. Push the cabinet. Oh, this is messy. Oh, big push. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Are we covered? Oh, we're oh we're we're literally just put okay, I see. I thought we were gonna like cover it with like blankets or something. Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey! I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. Okay. Boy, this is just messy. I can't see anybody right now. Oh, damn, ah. that ah. oh. oh, that's Kieran. She's still out there. <gasps> Cover me. Okay. Okay. I'm glad. Okay, big. I'm really, really glad that we're doing something with Sadie. I like Sadie a lot. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm almost here for a Sadie Arthur romance if it doesn't work out with Mary. That's cool. Oh. Give me this guy. Give me this guy. There we go. There we go. Need to use my dead eye more. What? How do I not kill this guy? Oh, oh I'm shooting the box. That's why. There we go. Do we get some guys on the boat? Yep. Oh, come on, find it. Brother, I cannot find it. There we go. Oh, come on, give me that auto aim. There we go. Back to the house, back to the house, back to the house. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought we were going back to the house. All right, let's play this a little, let's play this a little more cautious this time. Oh, come on now. What? Brother, I'm shooting the tree. It shouldn't give me a red dot if I'm gonna shoot the tree. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. There it is. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. All right, let's make, yeah, let's make sure we're not just standing out in the open this time. Are there? I don't even see any more redness. But there's obviously still. Oh, there's someone right here. Arthur, shoot the. Oh, are we missing that shot. What? Okay. Oh, that's Charles, I think. You okay? Ah! Oh, they're running. No, they're not. Are they running? Oh, I wanted that guy. Oh. Cowards! We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. I forgot about Kieran. Mr. Swanson. Or that that was Kieran. Take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. 
Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Do they all have like hoods on are they helmets if they're helmets i might be done i wish it would have been more with sadie though like i saw that it was sadie and i like sadie a lot and it kind of it stinks when it's just like a little saved my life and i could not save his little misdirect mrs adler fought braver than any of us she is driven by powerful forces i scarcely understand that's what love has done to her i guess cool cool yeah I like that a lot. It always seems like a bait when it just gives us a mission for someone and it's actually like a completely different mission than who we're talking to, you know? All right, we are back in St. Dennis. Hello? And it looks like we have a mission. Ooh, I probably shouldn't take Roach. Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hop off Roach before I run someone over. I'm guessing this is for Trelawney. Uh, oh, oh, he's over. Oh, he's right here. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. How do you like Trelawney? I, I just love the characters in this Hello, game. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Three-piece suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Three-piece suit. His fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Total price free. The Whitmore. Suitable for hot temperatures. Is this what I want? I think this is the only thing I can buy. A very good choice, sir. Okay. Is that just it? I go back to the catalog now. How do I zoom? Three, oh, I think I think I just got it. Am I good? Did I? Did I Come on, let's get you to the barber. That was weird. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. We have plenty of money though, which is good. We have seven hundred bucks. Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I'm here to play some cards. Oh no, we're gonna get a fresh cut. I'm guessing that's why we're going, going to the barber. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Style your hair or beard at the barbers. Cut hair. I could aim my weapon at him. fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. Need your hairstyle. Not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Oh, cool. Okay. I think I like this. I think I like a nice four. Uh, maybe three. I'm gonna go with a nice three. I think three looks good. I'm gonna go three. And then I gotta look at, I gotta look at uh, 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 the, the facial hair. I like the beard, but I wanna go, I, oh my, there's so much stuff. Full styles. 
extra clean shaven boy i don't even recognize that man the flying fork the english funny there's so many of these i think just trimming it up to something like this i think that's i think that's nice still i like the beard but we want to we want to make sure it's nice and it's nice and you know nice and clean i think that works good hopefully that's good enough there very smart cool come on let's get to the box game time i've arranged some transportation for you. oh yeah we're pulling up like a high roller george to the grand corrigan please grand corrigan sir well look at you from toad the prince uh, this is a bit much ain't it the coach we can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels you're a brash oil man money to burn which reminds me no shuffling and mumbling buff your chest out get outside yourself yeah all right all right saint ham so who's a mark you all right by the way the driver oh yes don't worry george and i go way back it's a man called desmond bly made a fortune and Hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Oh, this is not going to be good. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Okay, I think we're just okay. Perfect. Good luck, sir. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to do something. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to remember all this. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Oh, funny. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. What, what am I? Oh, board, okay. Board the riverboat. Deal. It's board. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Okay. Charles knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Sit at the table. Okay. Oh, this is going to be cool. I do not know poker super well. Uh, I, I understand how to play poker. I'm just not very good at it. So hopefully it's super clear. Can I not sit Good down? Evening, gentlemen. That's weird. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips are okay. already stacked okay. up waiting for me. I like this joint. I don't know what no means. We aim to please, sir. What does no mean? Oh. Strauss oh, is signaling to fold. Some better than others. 
If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Wait. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, we already folded. Hello, my ladies. Some queens. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Oh, cool. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... Oh, we got two queens. I thought about getting in the hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I raise? I can raise. Oh yeah, I've already. Well, I'm. Stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. You raise ten bucks. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Oh, you raise? Oh, you call fifty-five. Let's see what you want me to do. Is you say? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna call. Oh yeah. Two queens. That's a good hand. Oh, oh, give me a straight. Sorry to do this to you, but I have <sighs> no choice. All in. Uh, how much money do I have? Oh, I have, I have enough. Call. Interesting. What does, what does he have? 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 He has a pair of jacks. Oh no, that's his best. That's his best hand. That's too easy. Shit. Shit. I didn't even do anything. My luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass <laughs> down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. Okay. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Two kings, boy, that's just suspiciously Let's good. Not waste <laughs> any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Oh, okay. I mean. Oh yeah, sure. Help. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm not even really getting to like look at Strauss much. Like he's Fair he's kid. the one instigating this. Good, but <gasps> not good enough. Uh oh. Shit. It's okay. Give me a king. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. What do we have that wins Blythe, there? Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh. God damn you. No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come yep. with me, sir. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna do more, but they yeah, made the game. So they made the game super simple. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Uh oh. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh man. I 
think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Like we're gonna get jumped. Where's Jose gonna be up here too? This is it. Oh no, Jose. We were just, just with Jose. I'm stupid. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Good stuff. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Loot the safe. Surely we're getting the watch, right? Good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand. Yep. The watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Oh. Sure. Where are we going here? We've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. We are moving very slowly for people that are in a rush right now. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. But we're going so slow. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. Okay. 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 I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the information. Uh oh. Uh oh. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. Man, dude. <laughs> We're shooting. We shoot so many people in this game. Oh my goodness, boy, I'm crushing it with the shooting now. Oh, come on, give me this last guy. There it is. There it is. There we go. There we go. We got one more. Oh, escape the riverboat. There's one more up there, though. Here we go. Okay. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Jump. What about the alligators? You swimming? Oh no, it's a cutscene. The cutscene. I'm not swimming. This is cool though. If you're enjoying this so far, please make sure you're leaving a like. Drop any comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of this game so far. The characters, the gameplay, well, the world. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right. Come on. Let's get out of here. <sighs> okay. Another journal entry? Is this just like a loading screen? It's just a little loading screen. Gosh, this game is so cool, though. I love this game so much. Wow, we got a lot of money from that. 750 bucks, dude. We have too much money in this game. Keep on cruising, though. It looks like we have a mission very close by for, I think, Dutch. I think it's a D. It's very close by. It's probably... Can I go in here? It wants me to go in... Are we going in here? Ah... Uh, 
No, I can't go in there. Where am I going? Is it this alley? Am I stupid? There we go. Oh, it's Lenny and Dutch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're oh, we're doing another job. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Just a good old fashioned Ladies stick up. Gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us okay. kill you. Give me Mr. everything F, you got. Leave these Quick. fine folks so they're valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. Wait, I'm losing. Wait. I don't want to. Oh, oh, I thought I was supposed to rob him. I'm losing honor doing this. Fine. We have a lot of honor. We'll just do it anyway. Am I still losing honor? Okay, I'm still losing honor. Let's just. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Weird. Of course, of course. Just take it. Can't believe I'm losing honor for this. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. And, uh, we don't want to hurt any of you. What did I just do? Mr. M, check the safe. Force him to open the safe. All right, sure. buddy. I didn't sh it. you know that I was just saying I was just aiming my weapon that's all my what what okay how do you okay I just want to aim my weapon I don't want I don't think they keep much cash in there open it yeah I think Mr. Bronte is setting us up yep there's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got oh, this. no. Greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are you going to do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Go now. Oh, Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Oh, we're shooting. All right, shoot us some space, boys. Um, we got more on the right. On the right. On the right. On the right. Ah. Oh, that was a good shot. Left, left side, left side, left side. Oh no, I shot the horse. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> what can I do? Oh. It's not working, is it? Oh no. Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. How are we gonna recover from this? Oh no.
We're shooting some more. Do I have my repeater? I don't have my repeater. How do I not have my repeater? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Oh, how are we not getting that shot there? There we go. One. Get that guy. Give me this guy. Here we go. Okay, we keep going here, we keep going. I have no idea where I'm shooting right now. Follow Lenny. How is this guy not dying? I need to follow Lenny, I need to follow Lenny. Ah! This is messy. Oh my, oh my, this is such a mess. Buddy is just not. Here we go. Stick with me, Dutch. I'll lead you out. This way. Onto the street. Oh, this is such a mess. We gotta move. Sure that we're going this way then, right? Oh, can she is that an explosive barrel right there? No, it's not. Oh my gosh, dude, this is such a mess. Go for the wagon. Go for the wagon. Okay. Wagon. Boom. Can I hop in? I don't want to swap the hat. I want to hop in. Okay. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. There we go. Oh my goodness. In front of us. Where, where, where? Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Come on now. Brother, hit the dude. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's a stick of dynamite. Try to sh oh, oh, oh. Boy, I definitely did not shoot that. I'm trying to shoot this guy behind us. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my. Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Goodness, dude. What a mess. $165 bounty. We can pay that at least. Boy, we made no money from that job, though, which is tough. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... Two bucks. Fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Oh, what a mess, dude. Yeah, we got 15 bucks. Oh, my goodness. I do think that is when we wrap up the episode, though. We still got a lot done. There's a lot of drama, and I have no idea how this is all going to shake out, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, leave a like, drop any comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, that's all I got for you. I hope that Jesus loves you, and so do I. We'll see you in the next one.